Guys, CJRB has done it again. CJRB has taken some big risks this year. They've released a line of knives that I think are some of the best budget knives on the market. They took one of their already popular models, the CJRB Pirate, and made a large version of it, and it's amazing. So big shout out to CJRB for taking some risks and providing us with this. Let's take a look at it from above. So you guys remember a couple days ago we did the unboxing on this. This is the CJRB Large Pyrite. I was calling it the Pyrite XL in the video, but I think that this deserves the moniker of XL. This is a much larger version of the CJRB Pyrite. Now this is done in ARRPM9 steel and a steel uh, button lock with uh, button lock with steel scales, basically deep carry pocket clip. This thing is great. So I've been carrying this all day. Um, it's late in the day. The video I shot earlier today was the, the little bought up by Rosecraft. I filmed that earlier today. So I've been doing a lot of testing on both those knives. This thing is amazing. Now I have to tell you, I did resharpen this knife mainly because right after we did the unboxing, I dinked it on the glass. I just slammed it into the glass down and I, I just flattened that whole forward edge. So um, this has been performing with my edge, but it's been doing very, very well. Uh, nice and thin behind the edge on this, a lot like the regular prior. We're gonna do a couple size comparisons because this is very big. And of course, the one to compare it to so you get a good size reference would be the original Pyrite. This is the, <laughs> my voice cracked there for a second. Apparently I'm going back through puberty. Uh, this is the original size. This is a titanium one. I will be giving this away on the channel here before too long, uh, to a subscriber. It'll be a subscriber only feed, but yeah, you can see significantly larger. Uh, your next knife for size comparison, the Benchmade 940. You can see this is a pretty big knife. I mean, it is, they did not skimp when it came to size on this one. And then your final knife that most of you guys are going to recognize for size comparison. The Chris Risa Benza Large 21. Most of you guys are going to know that size comparison. This is a big knife. I was surprised when they said they made it larger. They were not kidding. So let's get this out of the way and talk about how much I like this. So, like I said, this, I think, is probably the perfect pyrite for me. This large pyrite just fits my hand so much better. The small pyrite, don't get me wrong, this is a great knife for most carry. I just felt that I didn't get anything special out of this knife with it being just kind of a drop point. That's why I like the Warrencliffe version of this so well. I, I liked it almost as much as I like the Echo. But the drop point pyrite just kind of was lacking but now that this is a large version it just fits my hand better i feel like i've got better purchase i love the blade shape on it i liked the blade shape on the i love the blade shape on the original pyrite but i think being a little bit larger i get a lot more out of this you've got a full choil up on this one now i can get way up on this and do some power cutting i did the action on this is brilliant cjrb has brought to the market the best budget button locks that have ever come out. I'm going to say it right now. They have the best budget locks on the budget locks, budget button locks on the market. It's a tongue twister, boys and girls, uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Um, but this just wound up being a perfect storm of shape, locking mechanism. Sorry, I'm not doing that real well. Uh, locking mechanism, deployment with the thumb studs. You can reverse flick off of the thumb studs effortlessly. The handles, even though they're steel, super good weight reduction on this. Absolutely, absolutely has uh, lightened that up to where it feels great in hand. Uh, like I said, with the button locks being great, you've got super good action left or right handed. So totally ambidextrous. They provided you with a reversible pocket clip, which is an amazingly good pocket clip. You have got a very good deep carry pocket clip that is actually past the end of the scales. If you're somebody that wants your knife to sit completely down in your pocket, it's perfect on this. And that pocket clip absolutely feels great in hand. It's not a hot spot. You almost can't tell it's there. They They've given you a big lanyard hole. I'm not a fan of that, but if you like lanyards, that's fine. Lock up on it, bank vault. The big button on this is easy to access and you can you can just treat it and flick it like it's a, just like you can with an access lock, all button locks. This thing is just great. Now, there are not too many negative things on this that I found. Um, the jimping is great and everything like that, but there are a couple and there's one that I have to point out that I noticed after I sharpened it and I had to resharpen this 
in the intermission in this video, and I'll point out why I can't not point it out to you guys. I think it's an issue that on just on this specific one that I have, but we'll talk about it right after you guys hear from Coffee Brand Coffee. We'll talk about the negatives. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. So the things I'm about to mention are on this specific knife. Um, I noticed a little bit of weirdness to the grind right here in this area. Um, you can see here, I'm going to try and point it out. And it's in the primary grind. There is almost a recurve in the primary grind. So you can see that the angle kind of thins out here just a little bit. Um, I mentioned I had to resharpen this mid, uh, mid video and it's 100% my fault. I was flipping this really hard down, and I think that with some of the weirdness on the grind on this knife, this one had a little bit of excess material at the tip here. Uh, it's not doing it now that I resharpened it a second time, but it was smacking. Can you see that groove right there? Yeah, it smacked into it at the tip of the blade. It's not doing it now, so if you're one of those guys that flips it out and flips it shut, could be an issue. And then just the final thing on this, and it's very kind of picky, Annie. The button sticks up really high um, comparatively to the original version. So you see how much more flush that is on the larger one? The button sticks up way higher in the open position. And it's not that it's, it just feels weird. Like you can feel it in a pinch grip, it stands up really tall. So um, it's just, it's just a couple little things. That one, I think, is the one that bothers me the most out of all of them. I mean, even with it having smacked into that, it's not doing it now that I've resharpened it. So I took, once you take off a little bit of material, you get a little bit more standoff from that. So that could have just been that this one got ground a little bit different. But the nice thing is, I've heard people complain about CJRB does have a good warranty. If you find an issue with a knife, they will replace your knife. I've, been, I've mentioned that to people and they have proven it. But all in all, I love this knife. It's going to stay here. I'm going to keep this one. Like I said, once again, keep your eyes open. I'm going to be giving this one away to a subscriber in a subscriber only live feed. And I think you got to say, if, if you were going to excel, if you're going to large size a knife, this is absolutely a masterclass in how to do it. Let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. Like I said in the intro and in the video, CGRB really has nailed it this year. They put out so many good knives all at once, it's hard for the consumers to pick. It is it is a great thing to have that many knives launch all at once, and I'm, I'm absolutely a fan. Uh, this is the best large version of a knife other than the Beg Letter XL. Like those knives stand out as knives that were taken from an original existing size point and made better. And this is this is just, this is a master's class in how to do it right. So um, that's it on this one, guys. Uh, if you want to pick this knife up, I do have a link to it down below. I also have links to other knife companies, uh, Blade HQ, Knife Ship Free, things like that. All of those support the channel. I get a little bit uh, when you guys do that. I have got Coffee Brand Coffee as a channel sponsor. I'm sure you saw the ad. I'm not sure. I haven't edited yet. I don't know what one I threw in, but you can use my link down below, say 5% at checkout there, and they are a channel sponsor, as well as Tempered Trail channel sponsor. Uh, Justin, or I'm sorry, Nathan is starting to add new items to his lineup there, so it's not just laces. Uh, he's making some hand stitch wallets. We're going to get one of those. We're going to talk about that on the channel. Uh, I also have an Amazon store. It's down below. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, make Amazon pay me. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout, and you don't even have to put on pants to do it. And I've got a membership down below. It's all tier based. That link will take you to my membership. You can just hit the join button underneath the video. And you can pick between the the tiers. All the tiers have access to Gilded Server. We all hang out. I do giveaways for the baseline and premium tier members on the Gilded Server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind that paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I'm going to get out of here, turn my fan on. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.